The aquatics of the DuPage Valley Conference have been dominated in recent years by Red Hawks and Huskies. Would that change in 2013? JT Simino from the Wheaton Co-op sure hopes so. In the 100 free, he's swimming with Husky Steven Misick and Red Hawk Christian May. Simino on top, 49-42, May 2nd, Misick takes bronze. 200 medley relay now, Connor Lamb led off for the red and white. After that, Lucas Harder sets up Matt Vanderkolk for the freestyle anchor leg. He brings it home, 141-88. Wheaton Co-op next, Huskies take third. 200 IM now, Norse Kevin Kielma leading in the fly portion of the race. But Connor Lamb takes over in the freestyle. He also won the 100 breaststroke. Scott Piper makes it a central 1-2. Sam Hiller and Eric Correa getting ready to go for the 200 free. The teammates have been pushing each other all year long. This race would go to Hiller, 148-18, Correa three tenths back, Noah Wood third. Time to stretch out a bit, Matt Rogers, Wheaton Co-op leading the pack in the 500. But Correa owns this distance and takes control of this one late, 451-62, Rogers second, Wood third again here. The team title going to come down to the 400 free relay, Andrew Rocco and Sam Hiller in the final exchange. Dogs in the lead. In a tight one, Hiller keeps that lead. Wheaton second in the relay to relegate Central to third place. Huskies get a close one. Sectional is only two weeks away. It feels great. Uh, Naperville Central is our big rival. And even though we have a lot of friends on that team, it's really good to uh, get to beat them at the uh, time where it matters. Last weekend against Naperville Central, we tied going into this meet. We knew it was going to be close. And in two weeks when we got sectionals, we know it's going to be close once again. It's going to come down to some of these very key races and swimmers swimming against each other all the way to the end. You know, there are times where, uh, you know, swim practices are rough and uh, you're not feeling great. But a lot of our teammates that we have are just there for us and are really good friends and motivate us to keep working hard. and. That's what uh, makes this sport great. The success that they see here today carries over to the sectional boys and when they get to their taper in two weeks and the enthusiasm that everyone will bring to that would be fantastic. These boys are, are getting ready and will be up and ready to, for some fantastic swims. We're hoping to qualify and a lot of people in a lot of relays. We've been working hard all season and uh, this, like I said, this was a good indicator and I'm really confident that our team will do really well in sectionals and state.